Hi guys, it's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another fishing vlog. If you haven't seen me before, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. If you join me today at Chichester again, I've done a few vlogs up here, um, really do like the lake. Didn't get much sleep last night because I was buzzing to go this morning. Um, Rod's been out about 15 minutes and I've had one. So, little common, saw a fish show, put, put a single on its head, 10 minutes the rod went. So, I'll try and get him up for you. He's a lively little thing. That's the first one. Look at him. Little bullet. But yeah, um, the rod's out, so um, I'm going to get this back now. Get the rod straight back out. Let's hope you enjoy this video, guys. I'll see you soon. It is now 12 minutes past one. Um, <clears throat> so over the duration of the next couple of days I'm gonna be here, next 48. Um, it's around 16, 17, so sort of mild-ish. Um, definitely overcast. The last sort of five days it has been really nice weather. So, and also I'm just looking down here now, the pressure's actually coming down as well. So it's looking good, it's looking good. One ticked off already, so I beat the blank, which is fantastic. Um, I've only fished up here a handful of times um, and I am, I am in a particular swim that I like to fish um, at the moment you can only sort of book on and pick a swim so as much as I'd love to come here find the fish and then fish to the fish that isn't an option at the moment so that's what I'm doing um, like I mentioned before I'm here at West Lakes um, and yeah that is really the update at the moment guys like I'm, I'm going to keep you in the loop um, and we'll go from there really but fingers crossed um, to be honest I had a right mare this morning and I mean real mare this morning um, started spooling up my spod rod and it's fell down and it's blistered um, all the resin around the eye and obviously I can't use it it's all cracked the braid will split through and it'll, it'll cut like butter as you spawn so I ain't got a spawn luckily though Thanks to Mr. Wally, he's gonna save the day and pop one down to me so then um, I can actually start, oh, I thought just saw a fish then, um, and actually start fishing properly, properly and uh, on point up here because I do find when you fish this particular lake you've got to fish on point and if you're just off the spot you ain't gonna have to fish. Um, just from previous experience fishing this particular one. So anyway, that's what it is. He's gonna bring that round around two, right, two, three o'clock. So from that point on, I can actually put a bit of bait out, sit on it, got a load of baldy with me, so I'm happy. So without further ado, I'm gonna crack on. I hope you like this one, guys, again. And um, yeah, let's see if we can get some bangers on the bank. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so I just topped up with bait, put another five spawns over the middle rod and what I've done is, um, there's people starting to turn up now. There's a gentleman turned up there, he has went around the other side, I don't know if he is going to go back in there. But obviously I was fishing over there, so I've brung that rod straight back on the, on, on, the, on the spot. I did spray the spots a little bit, which is perfect because where I put two rods on it now, it sort of allows for that. Um, so that's that, what's the time? Time is 20 past six gonna do a workout in a minute call me crazy but um, is what it is so fingers crossed that's the update lovely evening and it stopped raining so yeah I'll keep you posted mm. 
Up to knackered, didn't get much sleep last night, to be honest. Got a coffee on the go down here, look, now. But yeah, now it's really hard going. Really hard going. Got up about two o'clock, looked out, see if I could see any fish. Um, saw a few jump, but they were about three rod lengths off my spot to the right. I think, I think I saw them. Um, it's quite dark, it might have been a duck, but just woke up and I've just seen fish just to my right where I had the fish yesterday one's just clattered so I like trying to leave my rods here to about sort of 12 o'clock because sometimes you get that morning bite at this particular lake um, well again previously from, from what I've had here talk about this, I've only done five six sessions but I mean that's what's happened to me at this particular lake um, if they keep crashing to my right I am gonna ping a single one it's, it's a no brain so um, again that's the update Sorry, I didn't have any leviathans in front of me this morning for you to show you and you know it's one of the whackers would it? It's a shame because back to normality, you know this week and work and everything and everything's ticking and slowly getting back to normal So it would have been lovely to sort of end my fishing sort of Sessions I've been doing over the duration of the last sort of three months and uh, with a really with a really really good one That would have been lovely, but I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm here till tomorrow morning um, I've got to leave early because I've got to go. I've got work. So um, I'm gonna get up crack at dawn tomorrow and leave but um, Fingers crossed I've got all day today. I've got this evening, which is normally good for bites and obviously the night time so Come on you know, fingers crossed, that's all I'm going to do now. I'm just going to, again, like I said to you, I'm going to lock onto the water and see if I can produce a fish. Um, that's all I can say, really. Well, that's quite funny. That's Literally, after I put the camera down, ping that off there. After I put the camera down, absolutely tanked off the rod. And another fish around, uh, to be honest, I think that's even smaller than the last one. It's probably about 10 pounds. But, I'm not complaining, I'm gonna get that out. If I hook him, slip him straight back, I'm not gonna get him on the bank that one and uh, clear the fish of there. So let's see if I can get a few. Right, in. so that's the rod straight back out. I've topped up, with, to be honest, I put four spoms straight back on a big spoms so right on top of it, just full of boilie. To hopefully bring on them bigger fish and hopefully one of them gets their head down. Um, but it just goes to show, really, that was six wraps out, that was. So although you're on a big water, don't sort of be scared by it because you, you can catch fish directly in front of you or on your feet. I think a lot of people get this illusion when they come to these lakes is that you've got a butt cast right right out in the middle and if you don't do that you're not going to catch the big one which is a load of absolute beep but yeah. Um, guy the other side, gentleman to the points left now I think this morning I can't see anybody on that further bank and there's nobody down down here so there's not much pressure on the water but is there fish showing like yesterday? Definitely not there's no way. Um, says that. <laughs> Is that a coot? No, I think it's a coot diving down in my bait, but um, yeah, no, they're definitely showing past the island and past the pylons where you physically can't get a bait to and they shed a bait boat and I don't think you're going to allow bait boats up here. Um, yeah, it was a coot, it's just come up. So again, that's the update. Um, and also, uh, to keep in the loop, I just topped up my two rods on the spot out there. I put out another three spawns, but they were on the money. Bang, bang, bang. Lovely, right in this sort of the area, the vicinity where um, I've got my rods. So instead of bringing them in like every dozen in the morning, I try and leave them out till 12, but just top up a bit of bait, just put a bit of fresh bait down there. Again, sometimes it, it does the goods and produces a fish, sometimes it don't, but worth a try, eh? So, um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. See you guys in a bit. So I'm just tying up some new rigs and um, definitely something I stumbled across because obviously the lockdown and trying to get hooks and any kind of fishing tackle has just been a nightmare. But these Fang X size 4 micro barbs, these are banging, absolutely banging and they're sharp as sharp. I still get them out of the pack in it and just run the, um, the sharpener over them still just to get that fine tuned point. But they are freaking sharp so if you want to, if you're in a tackle shop and you only use kamakuras which is something i've been sort of glued onto now for a long long time although it cost me a fortune this is something that i'm definitely going to keep at the back of uh, the bottom of the the fishing tackle box and um use if it comes to it as you can see in the background there there's two rigs i've made on the seven and a half inch booms again in the previous videos you um 
I was talking about the seven and a half inch boom over the five and the reasons behind it. Again, if you haven't seen the previous one, um, what I will do is, well, jump over to the channel guys and check it out for yourself. There's a few on there now. Um, this particular session, I moved on to these, um, or the previous session, should I say, and I had uh, seven fish over 20 pound in two thirties in just over 48 hours, just under 48 hours actually. So proof in the pudding right there. Check that video out and let me know your thoughts in the comments. So there it is, that's what I'm doing, I'll pull you up, the wind was really sort of quite blowy a minute ago but it's still trickling right down the other end, um, completely not in my favour but again not in a position to move with the um, uh, situation up at the moment but again that's the update guys, it's just gone 12 o'clock, um, I think I'm going to make myself a coffee and uh, chill out and again lock onto the water and see if I can see any fish, if I see any fish, the single's going straight on it, I'll see you soon. Right, so that is the rods out. Quite happy with them. I've actually put a rod, a rod lamp, a rod lamps further out there um, to see whether, because I can see the fish showing at the back of the spot, whether that changes anything, I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around. Rods out, lovely. What I've had is, is a few people comment on the previous vlog saying, I wish you would show your spot mix. I'm going to do that now. Um, Basically, I use something very, very similar to all my fishing, and you're going to hear that word again. And that's coda bait. Um, this is a this is a boilie called Four Seas. Really, really, really nice boilie. It's got like a chocolate base, and it's got nuts. It's, it's just really sort of an all-round year bait. I use it all year round. Um, well, I have been this year, and been doing really well on it. But particularly in the winter, this is a really good bait. Um, also, you're probably seeing the odd pink in there. There's not many in there. But the odd one, so what I do is I like to fish little pinks on the on the hook. So if you could put a couple of handfuls in your pre-mix that you're putting out, it gets them a little bit more confident on the bait itself. So that's why I do that. But what I do is with the boilies prior, um, so I get the boilies 48 hours uh, before, whether these are freezer baits or shell flies. These particular ones are shell flies, but you can do this with freezer as well. And what I do is I'll put your chosen glug over the top of it, let it soak for 24 hours, whether that's your fishing sour and you're putting essential sour over the top. Um, I found a wicked uh, chocolate orange uh, goo stuff that I put over the top of these and I soak them for 24. So I let them soak for 24 and then I add just generic water from the tap into the mix for another 24 and then I fish over the top of them after that. Sometimes I do it two, two days before and soak them in water, sometimes I do it three days before, but I mean, these are like really now, really mushy and really nice, um, easy for the fish to digest. And also they think uh, that bait's been out there sort of two days, so I feel that they're a lot more confident on it. Try it if you're not already. This is something that I've put into my fishing and it's definitely put numbers on the bank for me recently and I'm going to continue doing this. But if you haven't tried it, give it a go and let me know your, your results down in the comments. Happy days. Right then guys, little update, the time is now quarter to seven. I was sat there and I just wasn't 100% happy with my rods. So I brung both of them in, make sure the, the, the hooks were nice and sharp and then put them straight back out in the money. And to be honest, it's just taken me about eight times. <laughs> so yeah, I'm obviously not on the money today, but I mean, they're definitely on the money now, but after eight freaking goes it. So they're out, I'm not gonna put any more bait out because I topped up earlier. Um, hopefully tonight's a night. That right hand rod of mine went out lovely. And the last time the rod went out that perfect was when I had that common. So um, and it's bang on the money. It's exactly on the same spot as where I went down for lovely donk. So fingers crossed the night's the night. Like I say, I'm going in the morning. Um, hopefully I can salvage something and make a video from this guys. Um, again, apologies for not catching any whackers and putting them up, putting them in front of the camera for me. But the rea reality is, um, Every time you go, you don't catch whackers, um, which is frustrating because the last sort of three, four times I've been, I've absolutely smashed it, as you've probably seen from the um, fishing vlogs. If you haven't, again, I'll put it at the top of the screen now or we'll jump over to the page and check them out, guys. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to let myself um, uh, relax now and I'm going to uh, make myself a coffee and enjoy the evening. And actually, one of the guys that I've spoke to um, on the YouTube 
um, has actually popped down, Richard I think his name is, so it's going to be nice to have a chat with him. Obviously social distancing this evening is because the swim's literally just there, so we do our two metres apart, have a beer I'm sure. So um, that's the update, I'll keep you posted and I'll see you soon. So it's just coming up to 8 o'clock and I've just had a beep on my left hand rod there, so the rod's about six wraps out, so it's approximately there on the screen. And that's twice now in about sort of half an hour I've had liners on that rod so that's promising but nothing on the bank but I thought I'd keep you in the loop with them so that's where I'm at I'll see you soon Good news, there is fish and they are showing past the pylons but closer to my spot than they have been. They were showing right over the back. So that's quite reassuring. And just over to the left of me, a fish just showed as well. So fingers crossed, um, the fish are in the area, although the, 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 the wind has changed this afternoon or this evening, should I say. So that's the update for now, guys. I'm gonna keep you posted. Um, we'll be getting some sleep soon. I might keep you a little update before I do, just in case I do have anything. Um, but that's the update for now guys, fingers crossed something we can get something on the bank, I really do, I'll see you soon. Right then guys, I thought I'd give you a little update before bed, 12 o'clock now it is, I never stay out this late, but 12 o'clock we just had a few beers, me and Rich next door, real sound guy, so um, been hearing fish as well, been hearing fish out there jump, um, again I think they're jumping past the pylons, so fingers crossed tonight, bring something freaking decent, it would be nice, um, but like I said to you earlier, I think the right hand rod is on the money, so fingers crossed, and I keep saying that, but I really do hope tonight, bring something nice, like I say, off in the morning, um, but yeah, that's the update for now. I'm gonna get some shut eye in a second because I'm absolutely knackered and like I said I've got work first thing. So I'm gonna leave it at that and hopefully next time you see me I'll put um C scale on a bank and I'm showing you a banger. I'll see you soon. Right well it's just coming up to three o'clock and another little comment and that was off that right hand rod that I said went out absolutely beautiful. The tore the rod just absolutely tore off. Um to be honest, I thought it was a little bit bigger than that. And it come in and it started darting around at the end of the rod and then I knew it was small, but yeah. Right, I'm gonna get this rod, uh, get this fish out, unhook it, get it straight back and get that rod back out. Three o'clock, that's the update. Let's get that rod back out perfectly. Come on. Right, so that's the rod back out. I topped up with four spawns and they all went out lovely, so back to bed for me like I said you work in the morning so um, let's get some get some sleep hopefully I can be cheeky and back another one I'll see you soon well that's the coffee made slowly starting to pack up things it's so funny, Rich just left and he's just come down 
we were talking and a fish has just rolled on my left hand rod literally it must be on the dance floor within a rod and it was off the spot and it was half a decent fish as well that was just there and that was seconds ago so fingers crossed it'd be lovely to nick something before we go i've probably got about an hour so i've woke up just after seven like i say and i've got a bit of time now i can um i was going to be out of here by sort of nine o'clock but i mean i'll probably leave a bit earlier than that now but i've still got a good hour to um slowly pack down which i like to do so i'm not rush 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 so yeah there it is that's the update um again guys if i catch anything i'll let you know um if not i'll let you know anyway so we'll work off the back of that come on right well divvy's packed up it's just coming up to eight o'clock now come on rods Come on, make the session now. There's been times before I've had my rods down and they've screamed off and I've had a tank at the last minute, so fingers crossed, I really do hope. No more in front of me, didn't see any of that fish, didn't jump again, but it, like I said earlier, it must have been a rod lamp, maybe two rod lamps off my spot, but oh, gutted I'm going. It's always a chore, you know, like you say, there's the, that's all ready to go, just the rods in that now. I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments how you feel about packing up, but I don't know about us, I just hate it, I hate it. I can set up, I don't mind pushing my lake 5, 10 mile around the lake to get to a decent spot, but when you're packing up, it is BS. <sighs> it is what it is. There's the update guys, again, I'll probably keep you posted just before I go, but that's where we're at. Right then guys, that is it. I've got to go, I've got to reel my rods in now, so I'm going to reel them in and head home to work I go what I will say is guys if you like this video give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward what I will say is guys is I apologize for not getting any whackers on the bank but the realistically and the realism is every time you go fishing you don't catch so I'm lucky in the end it was free fish free commons all over just sort of low double but I'm glad I've had three you know it's a shame that weren't one of the 18 but it is what it is so I'm off, take care, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.